everybody what's up we're uh, back in some watcher of realms and uh, let's catch up on everything we've been doing all right now we again i think we're pretty safe here we have a day and i feel like every time i look at this i have a day and something left this lost legacy event feels like it's been going on for eight days uh but we'll be fine if this person starts to try to close this gap uh, i'll just continue to pull ahead i'm not i'm not i'm gonna get these 10 frags for this legendary uh if i can Unless this person just out of nowhere gets 10,000 points. Uh, Awakening of Heroes. Um, I just can't get the food to, to, to rank here. So we're probably not going to rank here. That's fine. And then as far as all the other events go, I think we're pretty on top of everything. I think there's a... Hang on, let's do it from here. I think from here you can go uh, from here and then see what's active and, and check them all. So we got all our frags from here. We got all our frags from here. We are good here. Again, we're going to get an extra 10 there. Tells of the Smith we're done. So we're we have every frag that's available to us right now. We're pretty on top of the game. Again, very, very easy compared to. You know, raid. So. We're already halfway there. <clears throat> no real concern of not finishing it or anything. And then other than that, we've just kind of been, I did I did go through and, and, and sort start cleansing my gear and I got rid of a bunch of stuff. I, I did do some more gear raid one, so I need to go in and, and sort through that. But we're, we've, we've tried very hard to like really clean out the gear and really start getting picky about what we keep around. So uh, there's some more stuff I need to go through and roll and sort through here. But yeah, what do we get here? Ooh. Ooh, that's kind of that's kind of pretty, isn't it? I if I'm not mistaken, I think he's I think Fastidious told me if you get attack speed on a breastplate, on an ancient breastplate, that's a really good piece because that's usually not possible, I think. I think it was the breastplate he was talking about. And we got it on man, those are both real good pieces, dude. Please, please don't roll like shit. Please don't roll like shit. Those are decent. Those are decent rolls, actually. Yeah, hell yeah. We'll take that. We'll take that every single day of the week, dude. Uh, I need to lock that as well. I'll tell you something else I learned. But while he was um, working in my account, I've never noticed the sell button here. And that makes cleansing gear much easier. Because I was like, I have to go through roll it, then go into the sell screen, which is kind of why I wasn't doing it as much. I still don't think it's ideal. I really do wish there was a screen that would, uh, like, I wish you could get into this screen and roll gear from here. I think this would be really handy if I could also roll gear from here, but it doesn't appear to be possible. So I, st I still think the gear, the whole gear UI is a little bit clunky, but it definitely helps knowing that sell button's there. I just never, never clocked it, was there for some reason. So now that I'm now that a lot of my gear is rolled, I, 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 I intend to go through soon and sort of make upgrades where it's possible to make upgrades. So we could even start going through it now if we really wanted to. She's got a little bit of attack bonus and a little bit of crit rate there. She doesn't have much crit rate. Maybe we just completely try to redo. I also guess I need to prioritize or like put my champs in order of, of who I want to start gearing like from top to bottom. I know it's nice to have a lot of damage on Wrath. I definitely notice that my Wrath is weaker than he was. Like he's still doing everything I need him to do. But I do notice. It's very noticeable that he's not as strong. So Wrath is probably going to be pretty high on my list. I do need to get some gear on him. I've got him promoted and six star and everything. We, we need to get him geared as well. Um, yeah, why don't we why don't we gear him? Actually, I need I need to get him in the mix. I think I want to go. I, I think I probably either want to go Calamity or Whirlwind. Is it called Whirlwind? Yeah, I think I think I want to do one of these two. Let's see what we got here. 
Anything worth rolling. That's got some potential. All right, hit me with a hit me with a surprise gold crit rate roll. No way it did it. No way it did it. <laughs> no way it did it. All right, I'll max that. I'll go ahead and max that. No way it did it, bro. Crazy. All right, let's give him that. And then crit rate, crit damage, attack speed, attack bonus. Maybe we give him the crit rate, crit damage, attack speed. Oh, but that's a whirlwind piece. Hmm. All right, let's look at Calamity then. Oh, I think that might be it right there. Okay. So we've only got two pieces of gear on him. He's already at 49 crit rate. All right, what do we got? So let's let's go primary stat. We might be able to get away with attack bonus. Or crit damage. Let's 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 just peek. So what do we got? We've got increased damage by 25% for three seconds after making critical hits. Launching five basic attacks increases damage. Man, them 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 some doo doo pieces. What is this thing doing here? This is crit damage with a little crit rate. So if we can get some decent crit rate, what's that? Eight and thirteen. That's with attack speed. Let's just see. Crit damage isn't going to be a thing here. Oh wait, it is. I don't think I'm going to complete a set, so we should just go for the best piece. There's crit damage with some good crit rate. That one's got crit rate, but it's at the bottom. And doo doo stats on the way. I'm probably not even going to bother rolling that. We ain't here about no doo doo stats, you know? Alright, so you're getting that one. Put you at 94 crit rate. Attack's a little low, but that can be fixed by maxing this stuff. So what do we do here? We went crit damage. Oh, we went double crit damage. Wait, we went triple crit damage? I didn't even know triple crit damage was possible. <laughs> One of these probably needs to be attack, huh? What do we got here? The problem... I have no attack amulets. And then that's got 19 crit rate, which I don't know if I'm gonna wanna come up off of. I mean, maybe this will be fun. AK attack is a little low, but maybe it's not that big of a deal. I'm, some of my champs are, have, have worse attack and no crit damage, you know what I mean? So I reckon this is worth a shot. Are any of these good enough to max? This one's not terrible. Especially if we get a decent attack speed roll. Eh. I'll lock it. 18 crit rate on crit damage. Flat attack. I mean, it's not ideal, but... I'll, I'll take it. And then... Also flat attack, why not? We, we've, we, we're doing okay on gold right now. Whew. But either way, that, that's a lot of crit damage. It'll be interesting, actually. It'll be interesting to see. 94% crit rate, 348% crit damage. 
8800 attack. Again, not, not crazy good attack, but not absolutely terrible either. It'll be interesting to see what, what he looks like. And then as far as this goes, I can't skill him up anymore. Artifacts, what kind of artifacts we got for him? Wait, why did it do that? Why did it change the way they were sorted? That's very strange that it does that. Huh. Alright, anyway. When deployed, increases attack by 12%. When there are no adjacent allies, gains an extra attack speed. So there's a good way to get him some attack. Dealing AoE damage increases the hero's AoE damage by 2%. Can stack up to 5 times. Restores 3 rage. Restores 5% rage. Okay, I think it's going to be this one. It's a good way to get him a little bit of extra attack, I think. We can, I think we can go ahead and take this to 10. Oh yeah, I can promote it, huh? Why not? I'll get more. We're gonna start farming a lot of um, artifact material rate anyway. I do need to clear 18. I think Fastidious asked me if I'd cleared 18 and I thought I had, but I haven't. I've cleared 17. So we need to start working on clearing 18, which I mean, I think I should probably be able to do. Probably as I sweep through and, and, and do some work to re-gear. Finish that up. I kind of wish that when, when you're done with the dragon pass, it would just auto flame. Because I, I am tired of having to come in and clear those red dots, dude. Just like automatically give me whatever the reward is I'm getting every time. What are we on? AoE? DPS? Who are we running in here? I want to get him in the mix. Um... I guess you gotta come out and you go in. Twenty six though. One of the great things about her is I can get her down so early. But I don't think she's hitting any AoE. I don't think she is. I just want to see him in action. Twenty six, though, that's tough for Arena, dude. That girl over there swinging, dude. Who is that? I don't even recognize that champ. Estrid. She knew. I guess I'm just going to hold off and get him down. Oh, interesting. That's an interesting range. I mean, we're getting spanked. We might be dead already, actually. This team is this team is strong, but they're just too high cost. It takes way too long to get anybody down. I want to see the ult. Nice. The 
the thing his writings said um exp rate gold rate and tied i'm st i've been stuck on 115 and tied for a bit it's the it's the one with the boss and i just can't get through it dude she she kills everyone up here except vortex and i don't really know what i can do to stop that from happening Let's let's rearrange a little bit maybe. And get some other players in the mix here. First of all, is there anyone else I can put on the ground? Mm, I mean I could put Baron here. I don't know how much good that's gonna do me though. So I think I wanna try to get I guess I'll put Sadie here. And then we'll put you. Here. You. Oh my fucking God. You here. Dude. Try to do something like that, maybe. And then... I just don't know. And then over here, I think we're just... In a tough spot. She's gonna die. I mean, I'm, she's she's just gonna wipe out everybody that's sitting over here. Try it like this, I guess. Maybe there's something about these skills that I'm overlooking. Maybe there's a way to interrupt, because when she gets close, she's going to do this thing, and it's going to kill most of the people on my platforms. Although, we did just survive. Maybe that rearrange was the move. Because usually after she does that, everybody appears dead. So we might actually get through this this time. Close, dude. I mean, her do damage to her. What's going on? She's gonna level up, and then we're gonna be screwed. But this is definitely the most success we've had. Usually, we get her to like high sixty percent, and she just uh, she's killed everybody on the platforms, and then we just don't do much damage to her. weird that we're doing so little damage to her given we have our full team does she, does she level up or do just the monsters level up I guess if she doesn't level up I guess we're going to find out here she levels up because now she's killing everything dude I thought we had it that time man that seemed that seemed way better That gummit. That's so difficult. That's so much more difficult than 114.
That's that's annoying, dude. I, th I thought if we survived that blast and was it, were able to have everybody put damage in her, we'd be fine. But I guess not. We'll just keep claiming for a few more days and get through that absolute bullshit when we get through it, you know? Otherwise, we're kind of just trying to stay on top of these events as they as they come out. Also, this thing. What is it? Odyssey of Dreams. We're, uh... You know. Working our way through it. Oh, and the new... Where is it? This. We only got a C. This is tough. This is tough. I've tried a few different layouts. Uh, and actually, I think my first one was the most successful. And that's where I put everyone in front of the barricade. I've tried in front of the barricade. I've tried all behind the barricade. I've tried splitting the barricade. And the most success I had was in front of the barricade. Both both rows of my team. And it's it's Valkyra, Absin, Torador, Wrath, Abomination, Valeria, I think is who I'm using. And Yeah, we just I guess we just need more damage output. Or like better AoE. But that's not really a thing that we have going on, so. And yeah, I think we're using, I mean, Aatrox might be interesting in there if he was six star, Regulus might be interesting, but I kind of want damage output everywhere. We're not really having too much trouble with sustain. Valeria gets kind of low. I think Absin dies first, but it takes a long time for him to die. She gets low. She doesn't die until right around the end of the run, and then eventually they just break through the barricade and hit the portal, and we're done. But anyway, yeah, fun stuff. Lots going on. So I, I guess we'll uh, we'll get out of here. Hope you guys have a good one. See you tomorrow.